My name is Gustavo Sirieco and I'm here with Gonzalo Lopez, my partner in this project called Red Sky. I, during the pandemic, or even before actually, I invited a group of 10 artists from Europe and South America to share with me their experiences of landscape. The reason I invited these artists was because I saw in their poetics, their poetics of space, uh, a particularity that I was curious about. I wondered if they had had an experience with landscape that had marked their biographies and their artistic work. So I invited them to share with me some experience of landscape and the idea was to think how to translate these experiences to another person, to you, to my friends, to somebody else. Here we, we did the first of these trials, the first prototype, the first piece of uh, these translations, which is the translation of experience of a Chilean choreographer, Javiera Pion Vega. Javiera, she, um, in her works, the body is the interface of the experience with the world. So rhythms like breathing, the motor rhythm, the rhythm produced by the heartbeat, the vertigo of the sex, are embedded in her experience as an artist. So I wonder if, which experience was behind or was nurturing her practice as an artist. She shared with me an experience she had in a national park, which is the park of Alercy. And there she met, she went, in, she met these millenary trees called Alercy, Cyprestes, uh, where she had a whole saga to meet these this, 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 this trees, through forests, bushes, rivers, lakes. When she was finally there in front of these eternal beings, she had only 10 minutes to be with them, to download their eternity. Here in Pico do Refugio, we try to, you, to place in the Azorean territory of rural property the experience she had in this national park. We developed it throughout a couple of months and we came back to implement. Uh, it became uh, our translation of what we felt both from her and both from the place. The, it's very atmospheric, very related to, to the landscape. And at the same time, we, we have our, our story is present in each step, in each phase, in each installation. So we build a series of uh, installations and experiences throughout and uh, trying to keep this double narrative of local and this past experience that she lived before. And uh, this, and this, what is interesting is uh, in uh, the landscape are like this, which is not flat, you have uh, irregularities which make um, stops in our experience of here and now. So it's like here and now, here and now, because the floor is, is uneven.
I'm a dancer and choreographer. Gonzalo is an architect, a very multiple architect. Javier is a Chilean choreographer. But we, both, we all share this common practice of creating space for our experience because places hold experiences, hold people in experience. And this here, this, this installation with the promenade, uh, the elements that are here is a way of, of, of dialoguing with these stones along the way, these, mm -hmm. these hips <laughs> of, 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 of here and now. Yes, they, be, they become uh, ways of relating to uh, the landscape, the views, but through the body a lot of times. So it's, it's always this crossroads between what we build and why. It's always about how do you position yourself towards it? How, what, makes, what does it make you feel or experience? And less about what, what is the object, what is the... If you change places like it now, yeah. <laughs> and if I go front <laughs> and go out of the frame, what experience do you, uh, do we perceive? And how to really, like it's a sculpture, it's a big sculpture, if you think like this, this where people, we've, we've been cutting grass, cutting, uh, molding things, building up things so that we slide, we walk, we climb, we run, we walk. And the elements here are our guides in this, this sharing of, of sensibilia between us and Javier and the visitors.